Hello children, welcome back to English language class and today in my class I am going to teach you the chapter called the adjectives. Okay, first of all let me explain you what is adjective. So here is the definitions of adjective. An adjective is a word that describes noun or pronouns. Okay, like earlier in the chapter I have already explained you what is noun and what is pronouns, isn't it? So I hope you have understood the chapter well. So for now you focus on the chapter adjectives. Okay, so adjective says it, it is a describing word actually. It describes anything. It can describe the noun or it describes the pronoun also. For example, Delhi is a big city. Now here, which one is adjective in this sentence? Big is an adjective. Now, but Delhi is a noun. Okay. And big is an adjective. So big is a describing word. Means it is describing the city Delhi as a big. Okay. Now there are various kinds of adjectives. Okay. So one by one we'll discuss the adjectives. Now first of all, adjective one. Adjective of quality. So first adjective form of adjective says it is an adjective of quality. Now what is adjective of quality? It, de it describes the kind, quality or a characteristics of a person's animals or a thing. So here it says it is describing the kind, quality or the characteristics of a person or a, or it can be animal also or it can be things also. Okay, for example, she is a beautiful girl. Now here, which one is the adjective of quality from this sentence? She is a beautiful girl. So here the word beautiful is a adjective of quality. So this word beautiful says that it is an adjective of quality. Now there are some other words which comes in a form of adjective of quality that is big, small, hot, cold, honest, foolish and intelligent. So there are other so many words, so few examples I have written here so that you can focus on it. So that was the adjective of quality. Now number two adjective of quantity now what is ad adjective of quantity so it indicates how much of a thing is a mint means how much like means like there is a question no how much of a thing okay so for example give me some water now here which one is indi in indicating the quantity here the word sum is indica indicating quantity of a water, how much water is needed. So that like in the definition it said how much of a thing is meant, no? That means water, how much water that means needed. Like it can be a glass of water, it can be a jug of water, it can be a bucket of water. Alright, so means the example says give me some water. So it is not mentioned how much water, only the sum. So it says the quantity of water is asked here and there are other uh, adjective of quantity like we see here little enough all half sufficient etc so there are other various kinds of such words so few are here next one number third says adjectives of number okay now what is ad adjectives of number it indicates how many persons like here you notice here it says how much okay and here it says the kind of quality characters of a person animal or thing so in the same way in the adjective number it says how much of a person or thing meant or in what order it stands okay that is called adjective of number now there are so many numbers all right so in so that is why the adjective number has been categorized into these three categories okay the first one is called definite numeral adjectives second one is indefinite numeral adjectives and the third one is distributive adjectives so these are the three categories of adjective of number now one by one I'll tell you what is definite numeral adjective 
Definite numeral adjective indicates the number. Okay, exact number. Like we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that is the exact number. Alright, that is called definite numeral adjectives. Numeral means itself a number. That means here, see the example. Two birds are sitting there. That means here, two. This word two is indicating what? It is a numeral adjective because it is showing a exact number of the bird sitting in the tree. Understood? Now another indefinite numeral adjectives. Indefinite doesn't have a exact number. Okay. Like here you had an exact number but here you don't have a means no exact number. Alright. For example, there are many rooms. Now see the word many. How many? It can be so many all right it is not discussed means exact number is not there that is why the example says there are many rooms now you don't know how many rooms like it is available in the hotel or in the classrooms all right just it is mentioned many so it is indicating what it is indicating indefinite numeral adjectives understood the last one is a distributive adjective distributive adjective is what now it refers to each single person or thing okay so means each and everything it refers to each and everything okay like for example each one of you each one of you must complete the work all right like we say you now sometime in the class all of you each of you have to complete your homework that means here each one is indicating to whom to everyone in the class it is means not mentioned you have to do you don't have to do it's not like that so everyone in the class should complete their work understood so here the word each is indicating to the distributive adjectives okay so now coming to fourth number adjective that is called demonstrative adjectives okay now what demonstrative adjective says it indicates which a person or a thing is meant okay so here this adjective demonstrative adjective says means it is indicating to a person or a thing okay which a thing is made understood for example the words like these those these that such are indicating to the uh, adjectives okay like example you can see here bring that chair now here this that is indicating to the demonstrative but this that refers to the chair all right and chair is a noun okay so this is called demonstrative adjective next one we have interrogative adjective interrogative adjective like interrogative you know very well like in the chapter sentence interrogative sentences you have done interrogative pronouns you have done so wherever you see the word interrogative means it is a question mark so interrogative adjective it means like it asks uh, questions okay for example what poem do you like best that means you are talking about the what what is an interrogative all right and it always end with a question mark so that is called interrogative adjectives okay next one number seven number seven is a exclamatory adjectives exclamatory sentence also you have done earlier okay like which means has an exclamation mark uh, it shows a strong and sudden feelings that is called exclamatory sentences but here now we will do exclamatory adjective the word what is used the this word what is used as an exclamatory adjective all right that is called exclamatory adjective for example what a story now here this uh, sentence says and shows a strong feelings a sudden feelings all right so this word is indicating as a exclamatory adjectives okay and it should end with the exclamation mark next one this is the last one here we have possessive adjective like in the pronoun chapter also i have already taught you this a possessive pronoun possessive means like you show your belongings all right my ours my ours yours his her theirs so it is all indicating to the positions means own belongings for example like please give me my book that means here indicate this word my my is indicating means that is yours all right so this is indicating of positions and that this type of sentence is known as positive adjectives okay so this makes the lesson 
over here all right if there are further more discussions okay if you have any kind of doubts and problem you can ask me or you can text me thank you so much for today's class stay safe stay home